Hey everyone, welcome to this episode of Explore Django. Uh, today we are going to be talking about a great question um, that was brought up on YouTube. Remember, you can always ask questions on the YouTube channel or Twitter at AW Wester. Um, and that question was, how do I um, send JSON data to Django and then uh, respond with JSON data, right? So what we need to realize is that most of our views, most every single one of our views right now is going to be returning a template, right? So when we are working with JSON data, um, we are not working with templates, right? We are not responding with an HTML template. We are responding with JSON data. Um, so keeping that in mind, uh, what we're going to use is a JSON request response mixing from uh, Jingo braces, right? And what that's going to do is it's going to do some work behind the scenes that, that when Django receives the request, um, it's going to take the, the payload data in request post, the request.post data, right? And it's going to make that easily available and it's going to respond in a couple of different ways. Either we can respond with an error message or, or a success message, right? And of course, we can do our business logic in between. Um, so yeah, uh, remember that there is some magic going on in the Django Braces package. We will go over it a little bit, but to fully understand what's going on, um, you will need to take a look at their source code, which is pretty easily understandable as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the code. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our code here. Um, so we have a few pages, and this time I'm actually going to be going over the code a little bit differently. I'm not actually going to be typing the code, but rather looking at what I have uh, previously. I pre-wrote the code, and we're going to go over that. So let me know in the comments if you don't like this or if it's okay, because um, I will probably be doing this more in the future, um, trying it out, you know. So let's take a look at our contact uh, page. This is what we are doing in this episode. Uh, we have built this contact form, which we are going to send an email, right? So remember, um, for example, this contact page is a normal template view. Um, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be looking at the contact send view, which is going to be from Braces uh, using its response or request response mixing. Um, so. This page is rendered normally. Um, we can see we're, if we try to send a contact, um, here it says there was a problem sending your contact, right? We could be a little more descriptive, but all these fields are required. So if we do like my email at mydomain.com, some name, some subject, and here let's just put some spam, right? And then we'll go ahead and send. So you can see the button disables here. Um, and it should be sending, and your contact has been sent, right? Cleared the form, and we can see in our console that it's sent as well. So we have console email set up. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our code, what we needed to do to get that set up. In the base uh, template, um, I needed to add just a jQuery and also materialized JS uh, to do the JavaScript stuff here that's needed. Um, in navbar, I'm adding this contact, right? Just adding a contact here with the page context to highlight it, right? So that's what makes it highlight, um, which we talked about last episode, if you want to see that. Um, and then here we added a couple URLs. We have the contact and the contact send, which we discussed a little bit. Um, contact view and contact send view. Let's go ahead and look at those. Uh, contact view is a normal template view with my, our page mix in, which makes it highlight. Um, and then what we are getting at now is the contact send view, um, which comes from Django's built-in view and um, a couple mixins from Django braces, right? So the CSRF exempt mixin is going to make it so this view doesn't require that we pass the CSRF token. Um, if you care about security, you probably don't want to do this. And if you Google 
um, you will find the answer that you can add JavaScript in that will attach your CSRF token. Um, that is in official Django docs. Um, and also, you will see this uh, JSON request response mixing, which is coming from our races library, right? Um, so here, what we're doing is we are receiving a post request on our server that is going to come with uh, a payload of data, right? Now this mixin automatically takes that request post payload and it's going to put it in the self request JSON uh, property of the class. And there we can go ahead and get our variables here that we're passing in. Email, name, subject, message, right? Um, and I'm also checking here uh, that we, it's gonna pass these in. Uh, how I have it set up right now is it's going to pass these in um, no matter what. So sometimes it'll be a blank string and we want to raise an error if, if it is a blank string, right? and say that you must include all fields. Now, definitely probably better ways to do this, but uh, this is the general, uh, you know, a general way of doing it, right? And if it is an error, then we respond with this bad request, which it will return a 400 response and this message, okay? Um, if this passes, right, we're gonna send mail um, with these variables. Uh, Actually, I do have some problems here, which I just added in. Um, so we're gonna do this, right? And actually, no, it's, yeah. Uh, my admin, right, at my domain. Um, actually, you know, this would be a little bit different, but um, so like, you know, Django send mail is going to be subject message from and then uh, from and then to, right? So so actually this email, we would need to append to the body. Um, we won't be doing this that here though, but um, so we're gonna send an email from, from my admin to my admin with the message that they sent. Um, and we would append their email there so that we could respond, right? Um, and then we will respond uh, with a render JSON response, which will respond with 200 and with this message, right? So we are taking a JSON request, taking that data, um, either passing back an error uh, response or a, a success response, um, and sending a message if everything passes, right? So that is essentially how um, you can receive a JSON request uh, and respond with a JSON request um, on these kind of one-off examples, right? So we're not building a RESTful API or anything. We just have one view um, that needs to receive JSON uh, data and then respond with JSON data. Uh, so until next time, uh, happy Django, and I will see you. I will see you then.